everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video I'm excited because I'm talking about a brand that I've talked about but I actually have never reviewed any of their products and it's About Face. Um, I bought some lip liners and lipsticks or matte li liquid lipsticks and then I never I have really, I've tried them, but I never did a video on them. Um, I did just buy the foundation and I'm wearing it today. I bought it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Probably will do a review. I'm, this was the first time wearing it, so I wanna kind of test it out for a few um, days. But today we're talking about their new liquid blush. So this is the About Phase Blush Rush Liquid Blush. Um, it has six shades and there was an exclusive like pre-access, early access for Diamond and Platinum at Ulta. So I took advantage of them. These are $18. And one of the things I will say is they have some unique shades. So you've got like this purple, like violet, and then this Barbie pink, and then you've got this like deep red brown, and then you've got some, you know, traditional shades. These, I will tell you, remind me so much of the Huda Beauty. So I love the Huda Beauty. I talked about these. I originally got two shades so much, and I love them so much that I actually went back and got a third shade. So I have three shades, um, but I mean, look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. The packaging is very similar. And I won't say it's a dupe because one is $21 and this one's 18, and this one has a little bit more product. So this one has 0.15 ounce and this is 0.11 ounce. So it's probably about the same as far as um, like the amount of product, it's probably cost the same. Now also you can use that $3.50 coupon that they have all the time. So you can actually use it on this. And I did as well. And it comes out to, you know, less than $15. So you can save that way as well. But they're very, very similar. Now, the only thing is there's one shade of the three that I have, I did I did some swatches and I'll compare in a little bit. Um, there's not many like shade comparisons, but the product now, I looked at the ingredient list and the ingredient list looks completely different. So it's not the same product, but it feels very, very similar. So I have, I've only swatched them. I haven't tried them out. But I'm really curious, and especially that there's like these unique shades, like, like, and that's the one thing about the About Face, you know, there's like unique shades that you're not going to really find from any other brand. Okay, so let's go ahead and just read the description that's on the website. About Face Blush Rush Liquid Blush is an ultra pigmented fluid blush that blends seamlessly and glistens on skin. A super saturated liquid blush delivered in a buildable, blendable formula with maximum color payoff and long lasting endurance. So it's available in six colors. Um, and then it's delivered in colored matching modulo component with an easy to control dot doe foot for simple application. So you'll see here that it is, it's, it's very similar. Again, it's got like this dot and then let's compare it to the Huda Beauty. Let's just take a look here. So the Huda Beauty kind of has the same thing. It's kind of like, it's a little smaller than the Huda Beauty, but it's kind of the same thing. So now, the way products, I, I don't think this is a copy of Huda Beauty at all because the product development, it, there's no way. I mean, this just came out, I think, in, in late May or early June. So I don't think that these are, you know, a knockoff because just the product development. But the similarity is just amazing. But again, these are going to have more unique shades. The Huda Beauty, now the Huda Beauty I love. I have the shades, let's see watermelon pop, peach sorbet, and then stra strawberry cream. So um, I highly recommend these. And I think the Huda Beauty shades are more traditional shades where these shades, while there's some traditional shades, these are a little bit more, there's some definitely some fun shades in here. Okay, so as always, I am going to put them on each cheek. Now these are kind of like a blush stain, so it's a little bit harder um, because I have to literally like scrub it off as much as I can and then reapply the foundation. But uh, I will do it for the video, for the sake of the video, because I know I like watching videos that show colors and show colors on faces, but we are gonna do some swatches. These are some swatches I did in natural sunlight. Now these are very, very heavy, a lot of product, but I really wanted to show the colors of these pro of these blushes because they are very unique. So from left to right, we have Hot Lap, which is a Barbie pink, Jumpstart, a Vivid Lilac, Grand Prix, a red brown, Pit Stop, an orange peach, in the Dust, a Rosy Mauve, and then Starting Lane, a Peachy Pink. So those are the six shades. And in the next swatch, this is with the three shades of the Huda Beauty that I have. So same six shades, and then the three Huda Beauty that is Peach Sorbet, Watermelon Pop, 
and strawberry cream. So strawberry cream and in the dust are the two that are the closest, like the rosy mauve, and then I guess, I, I don't know the description of, of strawberry cream, but those are the most similar. I don't have two of the other shades. One is like a canty pink, but the hot lap is definitely more cooler toned than the one from Huda Beauty, and I don't remember the other shades. So um, these are definitely, I don't think there's a lot of comparisons, just maybe those two, and even then, um, they, they're, they're, I think they're, they're different. So, but, um, I do like the names. They're obviously like have to do with racing it's blush rush. So I kind of get it. I, I thought that was fun. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start trying them on my cheeks. Okay, so I am gonna be using my F43 from Sigma Beauty. This is the Soft Angled Cheek Brush. This is my favorite, and this is how I like applying the Huda Beauty. And since, I, again, they are so similar, I know that this is how I'm going to like to apply it. If I'm applying it and I wanna try another way, I might. I am gonna start off with the two lightest shades and then kind of move up because it's gonna be harder to take off. So the first two I'm gonna start with are the Starting Line and the In the Dust and which is the peachy pink and the rosy mauve. So we'll start with starting line, which is the, uh, the um, lightest one. And I do like, again, I love the Huda Beauty because I hate comparing it so much, but it's so similar um, that it's just a very compact, I think it's a good, you know, these I also like that, I do like that the doe foot is a little bit smaller. For the lighter shades, it's not gonna be a problem, but with the Huda, sometimes I do apply too much. I can just cover it up with foundation and do some underpainting and but with this this one I think it's going to be you know easier or less likely that you're going to make an error so um I'm gonna get a chance to play with it while I'm doing it with the lighter shades and then we'll move up so what I'm going to do is this is the um starting line the peachy pink and I'm going to put two dots just because it is a lighter shade with the darker shades I will probably do a lighter one but you can see this is really pigmented. So this is one where I might, I think I only need one dot. Um, yeah, you only need, yeah. You only need one dot because that was two dots and that's way too much and this is the lightest shade. So yeah, you only need one dot. But uh, let's go ahead and blend this out as much as possible. And I am going to see if I can, see if I can take some of this product off. Okay, so I did go in and correct it a little bit and this I think is gonna be my favorite shade. This is something that I really liked that um, this is a shade I think was lacking in the Huda Beauty, so I'm really glad that this one, I think it's gorgeous. Obviously you only need one dot, which really scares me for the other, especially like this one. I'm a little scared now. Um, it probably will be some underpainting, but we'll see. But super pigmented, gorgeous, you know, and easy to blend out. I was able to correct it a little bit. Um, I just went over with my uh, damp sponge that I used to apply my foundation. And then I didn't apply more product. I just took, I, I've already cleaned this brush, but I went in and just kind of went back in and still had product on and was able to kind of put on the color. So this is starting line, the peachy pink, and I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite. Okay, next up is In the Dust, and this is the Rosy Moth, and this is the one I think is like the Strawberry Cream uh, in Huda Beauty, and uh, I almost did two dots, which would not have been good, so we'll start with one, and then we'll move from there, but, um, well, maybe I will need two for this one. Let's see. Uh, I, I don't think I had enough product on there. Yeah, definitely more product now. I don't think I had enough product with that first one, so... This is a really pretty color. Um, the Rosy Mauve, again, I have this similar shade, and this is a, a type of blush. Now these are, the, these two shades are probably the most neutral every day and probably will be the most popular. I think the other shades are definitely more fun. Okay, and this is in the dust. Again, this is the Rosy Mauve. So, um, there's subtle differences, but I definitely see the differences between the two. This one definitely is a little bit more peachy. This is has more mauve. So, um, you know, these are definitely the two that I will probably use the most of these, but I think it's gorgeous. Okay, so cheeks are clean. 
going to try the two like, brightest shades. So this is Hot Lab, which is a Barbie pink, and then this is Jumpstart, which is a vivid lilac. But let's see, uh, let's try these out. I'm curious how they're gonna be. Um, these are blushes that I would not normally pick out for myself, but you know, sometimes I remember loving that Give Beauty lavender blush. So I'm gonna do one dot, and that's a pretty big dot. That was probably a mistake. Okay, let's try. And now I will say the application and the feel of it, very similar to Huda. And I, I hate, you know, to keep comparing it, but you know, if you're between the two and you like, maybe you like a shade of this one more than you like the Huda shades, then maybe this is gonna be, to me, it's very, very similar. Um, very, very similar. I definitely applied too much. So let me go and touch it up a little bit and come back. Okay, so this is Hot Lap. I actually like it more than I thought. Um, you know, I definitely would probably, probably with the darker shades, I would do it, use it with underpainting. And um, and I think it's really pretty. So it's, it's definitely not something I would gravitate towards, but it's cute and it's fun. And you know, if I was wearing something, you know, that would go with this type of blush, then yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now we're going in with Jumpstart, which is the Vivid Lilac. Let's try not to apply too much. So one dot and let's try and see if this works. So yeah, that was it. <laughs> I did perfect. That one was good. I did exactly en enough. Ooh, I really like this one. I really like this one. I, I do like the lavender blushes. I, I remember loving the one from Give Beauty and this one is just so pretty. Ooh, yeah, ooh, I love this. So this is um, Jumpstart, the Vivid Lilac, you know, one dot, and I think when I start playing with this, I'll probably play with it again, one dot, but this one I just really like. It's just, it's really pretty. So yeah, this is Jumpstart, the Vivid Lilac right here, and then this is Hot Lap, which is the Barbie Pink. Okay, I'm back with clean cheeks again, and we're gonna go with the two darkest shades. So definitely gonna go very light-handed with these. So these are um, Pit Stop, which is an orange peach, and then this is uh, Grand Prix, which is a red brown. This one I'm very curious about, because I think worn right and maybe as underpainting could be a beautiful nude shade. Not nude, but like just a natural, I, I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm I think I'm really gonna like this one. Maybe not today, maybe you know, because I think I don't know. We'll see. But then an orange peach like that, you know, usually you have like an orange blush or a peach blush or coral. This is just a very, you know, unique type shade. So I took off a little bit of product. I may have to reapply, but I'm gonna try and go very, very lightly. Um, okay, so there we go. And I, th I think I put too much. Actually, let me go ahead and take, take it off real quick. And now we'll go in. So I have it all over my finger. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did that because you get, so these are only $18 and they're gonna last you forever because there's just, you need so little product. And this is the same with the Huda Beauty. This is the same thing with the Huda Beauty. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I'm loving these shades. I I didn't expect to like this one. I really didn't expect to like this one. This one is gorgeous. Wow, I really like this one a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the darkest shade. Again, Grand Prix, the red brown. I'm loving this one. It's what is called Pit Stop. Yeah, I this might be my favorite, surprisingly. Um, it's really nice. And again, I'll, I'll, you know, once I start playing with them, you realize like which one do you kind of reach for? But um, yeah, that's that's a that's one. This one surprised me. So let's do light dot because this one's dark. Um, it's very very deep. But again, I think I think applied right will be beautiful. And because they're so pigmented, I think they do work for all skin tones. Um, maybe not the two lightest shades. I don't know. I wouldn't be the one to tell you. But you know, I went very lightly and I can use this shade and it looks great. I am gonna apply a little bit more because I do think it's a little too light and I don't think you can see it on camera and I really want the, the color to show on camera so you can see, but these, these colors are really, 
Again, they're really unique, but man, when they're blended out, they just look so beautiful. Okay, so starting with the lightest shades and moving up to the darker shades definitely helped with the application because I learned how much product or how much is too much product to use to the point where when I use this one, I think it looks great. So this is Grand Prix, the red brown. And again, I love this one. These are the two shades that I thought, okay, I'm probably not gonna keep. I'll probably, you know, give them to a friend. No, I'm keeping these. The two that, um, well, first of all, it's okay. This is Pit Stop, which is the orange peach, gorgeous. And then Grand Prix. So um, I, I'm just kind of blown away by how much I like these because I really didn't expect to like these as much. It's just, you have to apply very, very little if you're like light skinned like me, but they're gorgeous. The two that I probably, the least favorite for me are the pink and the, and the purple. However, I really liked the purple and I liked the pink too. So I, I, you know, I think with learning to apply them in the right circumstance, depending on what I'm wearing, if I'm wearing cool tones, this lap, this it's lilac is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And once it's sheared out, it looks gorgeous. I think the packaging is kind of intimidating, but you know, that's kind of interesting. These are, I think, whoops, the most, you know, neutral everyday shades. But what I would say is if you are someone that gravitates towards these types of shades, don't be afraid of these because it's actually, I'm surprised. So I'm really excited about this new blush launch. Okay, so final thoughts, I love them. I think they're great. Uh, I highly recommend them. Now I wanna play with them um, some more. Now, uh, a couple people have asked me like, what is my favorite blush? Especially with all the liquid blushes because I like liquid blushes and a lot of the liquid blushes and cream blushes, there's been a lot of videos because there's been a lot of launches this year. And that's hard because I think it depends on the situation. These and with Huda. So first of all, with the comparing these to Huda, um, these are very, very similar. So I think with these is that um, the Huda Beauty has, um, gonna give you a same similar look, it's just the, sh the shades are gonna be different. Here you're gonna have some more unique shades, something that's different, like these are, for four of these shades, these I don't have anything like this in my collection, especially in liquid form. So um, these two probably, yeah, but those other four, no, not at all. So I think really it depends on if you want more traditional shades, like Huda, or if you want more unique, unique shades to your collection, I think that's where it is. But as far as comparing, I think they're both very similar. And I, I couldn't tell you at this point which one I like better. I think they're both pretty much the same. Um, there's been the Cali Ray recently, which I love. It, like we went to, um, this is more of a stain and gives you kind of that airbrushed, you know, flushed look. Uh, the the Cali Ray is definitely more of a traditional like liquid to powder blush, but when I tell you that stuff didn't budge, I, we were downpour, downpour rain in Orlando in a theme park and my blush looked great um, at the end. I mean, I looked like a disheveled, you know, mess. I looked like a wet rat, but I, you know, my blush and my makeup looked great. So um, that one, you know, it depends. So there's really been a lot, like the, the Hourglass I really like. Now the Hourglass I think is kind of similar to this. It's very similar to this, but the Hourglass is a lot more expensive. So I think like these, and I think the Hourglass has that little drop. I like it because I usually use a palette and I can use that. And for me, I like that more than the drop, the this, because I can go with here and, and I won't get like a dot here. Um, because I did notice that. I was able to blend it out for the most part, but you can get that sometimes, especially if you don't work fast enough. So I do like that application. But again, these are half the price. Like one of these is half the price of the hourglass. So, you know, and then plus if you're shopping at Ulta, you can use that coupon for About Face. You can't use it for hourglass. And then Huda's not um, at, at uh, Ulta. So, you know, these can come out to under $15 if you use the coupon from, from Ulta. So these are up there. Um, I gotta do a ranking video. I gotta do a new release. But the thing with blushes and, and stuff is a lot of times it depends on the situation. So it depends like, am I going out to, you know, watch my son's hockey game or football game, or am I going out with my husband on a date night? Like that the type of situation. Like, so sometimes it's like, it's not so easy to say which is my favorite blush, but which is the one I like in certain situations. So, but for these, I think they're great. I think they're great. I think they're gorgeous. The shades are very unique and you can definitely 
a light-skinned person can even wear the darkest shade because you just you just need to make sure you go very 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 light-handed even with the lightest shade you got to go light-handed but um 18 bucks 18 bucks and it's gonna last you a long time they're small but 18 dollars is gonna last you a long time because you don't need a lot of product so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone